Good afternoon and welcome everybody to the talk by Yuri Komarek on awesome vector tile in custom coordinate system. Uh, it's going to be a 20 minutes talk and five minutes for questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the introduction. Uh, so hi everyone, thanks for coming. I'm Yuri, I'm from the map tire team and uh, well, what we do is like apart from providing some beautiful base maps, those you can see, satellite maps and so on. We are also working on a lot of uh, open source projects. And today I'm going to present one of them, which is called Open Map Tiles. Uh, by using this project, this, this stack, uh, you can create your own uh, vector tiles. And you can also create them in your own coordinate systems. Uh, on the very beginning, not everybody here has like GIS background. So what are the, what are the different projections or the coordinate systems? What is it about? Uh, the issue is that the globe is, uh, well, kind of round, 3D object. Unfortunately, it's not flat, otherwise it would be really easy. And we are trying somehow to put this 3D globe into the two-dimensional screens or papers or whatever. And there are many ways how to do it. Uh, as you can see, a lot of them are, well, they are different, but they have one thing in common. All of them are wrong. The only difference is the aspect in which they are wrong. So let's start with the, with the most common one, which is Mercator. Uh, you can see it if you have ever been to openstreetmap.org. You can see it there. <laughs> uh, it's great, for instance, for navigation because, yeah, uh, uh, it keeps the squares as they are. On the other hand, uh, the biggest problem uh, with this projection is uh, in, the, in the sizes. So for instance, here you can see the Greenland, which is much bigger than Europe. Well, in fact, it's almost like five times smaller than Europe. And not talking about the countries or the area around uh, equator. There the problem is much, much bigger. Well, the answer to this could be uh, Gal Peters projections, for instance, which is correct in showing the, uh, the sizes. However, it's wrong in everything else. So you also don't want to use it, or you can. Then, for some reason, it's disappeared. Uh, the third one, oh, sorry, the second one in the middle, uh, this is uh, the French Lambert. Uh, this is the example of the local coordinate system which was developed for a specific country. Uh, in this case, it was for France. I will talk about the local coordinate system later on. Uh, the third one is not Lambert, sorry. Uh, the third one, on the third uh, picture you can see uh, how incorrect it is because you, uh, you know, obviously, that uh, the Antarctica is not that, it has totally different shape than it, is, uh, it has in reality. So, uh, but it's really great to, to show the areas around the North Pole. But there are other uh, ways how to show the globe, but none of them is really, it's, all of them are far from being perfect. Apart from the, from the coordinate system, which are trying to uh, show the global data, we have a lot of local coordinate systems because, uh, historically speaking, a lot of maps, I would say most of the maps, were designed to show some local data, some kingdoms or even smaller areas like cities and so on. And uh, for them, it was much better to define their own coordinate system which fits their needs. Uh, if you take an example of, well, let's say Norway, uh, you can see the problem there. It's, uh, 
but it looks a little bit like me. It's like really tall and slim. And well, if you try to put me on the on a marketer, my feet will be correct. My hips will be already like this, and my head like that. So you don't want to do that. But well, we are, apparently we are doing it with Norway. <laughs> So a lot of those local coordinate systems were created and they are still in use even in the modern days, even for some small countries like uh, Switzerland or Czech Republic where this issue is not that big. However, uh, it still stays there and it will probably because it's required by the governments and some official bodies. So, yeah, here you can see, ah, yeah, great. Uh, here you can see uh, the VGS84 uh, vector tiles in uh, this VGS84 uh, projection which is already available on the Maptire Cloud, so you can go there and you can start using it. You can clearly see it looks somehow weird, especially on the really high zoom levels right now. So this is one of the examples of the, of the coordinate system we already have. And now, if you want to use one of these uh, coordinate systems, uh, you have basically two options if you want to go with uh, our stack. The first one, the easiest one, is just to go to maptile.com slash cloud, create a free account, and, well, start using it. As I said, the VGS84 is there. Lambert is maybe already there, like our developers are working today on deployment, so if it's there, it's still hot. If not, it will be there today, tomorrow, Wednesday, latest. <laughs> So check it out. And more coordinates are uh, coming soon. Uh, what do you have there? Uh, you can start using with open layers, uh, which can show both the raster tiles and vector tiles, or you can also mix it. And we also offer it uh, the uh, XYZ, because we rasterize it uh, on demand. Uh, VTMS or Static Maps API. So that's the that's the easy way. And now, okay, yeah. Uh, one more thing. Uh, right now, uh, there is this basic style. Uh, we will add more, and later on, we will also add the possibility of the of the our customized tool, which is available for the for the maps in Mercator. But right now you can write or, or you can import uh, any style which you create yourself. So the hack for today is like uh, just uh, create your own map using this tool or the edit tool, download it, uh, just change the source and upload it back and you have your own style. And now uh, we are switching to open map tiles part, let's say. Uh, this is the way how you can do it. Uh, any of you can do it. Uh, for those who still don't know Open Map Tiles, uh, this is the set of open source tool. Uh, daily it is used by, we estimate 200 million people. We don't know exactly how many because uh, not everything is uh, uh, our users, it is already adopted by other companies like uh, Carto or I don't know if there is someone else who is using it. So we estimate 200 million uh, people every day. Uh, it's available on openwebtiles.org or on GitHub or you can find it there, all the tools needed for building. How is it made? So first, there is this the vector tile schema, uh, which defines the layers and attributes. And this can be used uh, with uh, any kind of data. Uh, what we use most of the time uh, is OpenStreetMap. However, for our own uh, usage, we also mix it with other data. So for zoom level zero till 
four or five, we use Natural Earth because it has some much better look on those uh, zoom levels. Uh, we are also adding uh, Wikidata. Uh, the reason for that is uh, are the translations because uh, every city is, or most of the cities are much better translated on Wikidata than uh, on the on o o OSM. But you can also use it for uh, your own data. Uh, it has been adopted by Luxembourg National Geoportal uh, or the uh, Cartographic Institute of Catalonia. Yeah, I can see, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was also the inspiration for the, for the UK Ordnance Survey OpenZoom stack. Uh, how we are creating this? Uh, well, if this is just like some overview how we are doing it. If you want some step-by-step -step guide, uh, then you should search for Open Map Tiles State of the Map 2018. There was a presentation about this, so there is really like clear guide, uh, but basically you take the PBF file with OpenStreetMap data, you import it into the database, you use PostGIS, and then you uh, generate those vector tiles uh, uh, in the web box uh, vector tile format. So at the end you will also get, again, the PBF file uh, in the uh, MB tiles format. So it's quite confusing. You, you have uh, PBF on the very beginning, but with the whole world, with like 10 of gigabytes of data, uh, at the end you have like a lot of those small PBFs in the form of vector tiles. And now you have the tiles. So the last step, uh, how to transform those tiles into the real maps. It's you need to apply some kind of style. Uh, there are several of them. Uh, they are also available on the GitHub, so you can use it for the, for the maps generated from OpenStreetMap, but also you can use it for your own data in case uh, you, you stay compatible with the, with the schema. So you can say, for instance, uh, uh, let's take everything from OpenStreetMap except for roads because I have my own road. Uh, if, you, if you follow the schema, uh, then you can well, get exactly the same output as here. And now uh, we modified the, uh, the flow a little bit and to be able to uh, render the tiles in different uh, coordinate systems. Uh, the difference is that uh, at the end, uh, we are storing in geo package. The reason for that is the MB tiles format is uh, by definition uh, only in Mercator. So, and then, yeah, then you can already use it with open layers and or with uh, OL Mapbox style. Uh, so it looks really the same way as like the normal map. Uh, since the last presentation uh, at State of the Map 2018, we made two releases. Uh, 3.9 in November, uh, the biggest change was uh, in the uh, water part, but also we added the multilingual street names. That's the case for uh, countries like Belgium or uh, Finland. They have also two, two uh, official languages there. And in 3.10, uh, we updated again the water layers and uh, some boundaries, plus we added four new languages. Yes, also Basque. 
And what is planned for the future? Well, right now the situation is that we have uh, a lot of repositories and for the beginners, or even for us, it's really hard to orient in it. So we want to make it somehow easier. And what we are also trying to define and achieve is to have like the basic set or to, to, have, uh, to have a tool that creates the base map, I'd say, and then have additional uh, repositories for some specific use cases. So the advantage is uh, it's a really easy uh, somehow for the newcomers uh, to start and also uh, to keep the size of the rendered files to some like normal size. And yeah, of course, uh, if you are interested in what's going on, uh, you should like follow it after our blog post or start following us on Twitter. <laughs> so how to, uh, how to generate the map yourself? Uh, as I said, uh, Ather, you watched the presentation from the last year, or you can go to GitHub and there is the tutorial, plus there is this quick start uh, shell script, which you just run and it will, it will really guide you. There is also documentation on openmaptiles.org, and here you have also this, uh, uh, this viewer when you can see uh, all the features which are there. The other option is, of course, uh, that you just download uh, what is already pre-generated. That is, for most of the users, it is much better because, uh, well, creating your own tiles is quite costly. So uh, you can either download, it's free for non-commercial use, and, well, for prices if you are a business, so. Uh, yep, yeah, there are also additional data layers. Uh, one of them is uh, hill shading, a digital elevation model, uh, plus satellite, which is missing here, but yeah, we have it as well. <laughs> and the project vision, I already, well, I already said it. We are trying to keep the size somehow low between 60, 70 gigabytes and have just some base map which contains the important to, uh, topographic information. And for the rest, there will be these uh, custom additional layers. So uh, what we already created, uh, we created one uh, sample uh, layer. Uh, it's available on the GitHub. It's, uh, it's a layer which contains the things for skiing, like slopes and lifts and things like that. And we are also thinking about uh, others, other things, other use cases. Uh, yeah, here is, this is not done by us, unfortunately, but it's really beautiful. For those who don't know, this is open infrastructure map. And, uh, all right. <laughs> and they are using it for showing, well, all the electric infrastructure and so on. Uh, what we, we are working on right now, uh, this is this hiking map. And, and as I said on the very beginning, this is not the only thing which we are working on. We have uh, other open source project. Uh, the fu full list is on maptile.com slash open source. Uh, one of them is Tile Server GL, uh, which is like the Node.js server for running your own map. Uh, it has also, we have also Tile Server PHP, which is a simple script which you put on your PHP server put a map next to it and you have it, you have the map. Uh, OSM names, uh, this is the geocoding service. Uh, 
based on the data from uh, OpenStreetMap. Uh, the interesting thing, the ranking is partially done. Well, of course, it's done by uh, bounding box and so on. But the uh, hierarchy is also based on the on the Wikipedia. It means like uh, the more the place is searched on Wikipedia, the higher chances are that it will stay on the top here. Uh, WebGR Earth. Uh, as I said on the very beginning, our planet is a globe, so this is really like the 3D globe, uh, which you can put into your uh, web page. And APCG.io, this is the database of all the coordinate systems. You can find everything what you can ever heard of and probably never heard of. <laughs> so, yeah, as I said, check it out, maptile.com slash openSearch. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Yui, for the interesting and informative talk. We will now ask for questions. We have, I think, four minutes. But before everybody else go, we would like to make an announcement that there's going to be a closing session at, in the main hall at four. Questions. Questions, comments. Uh, my question is about the feature of uh, local projection in the open map tile project. This feature is already available or not because I uh, not see it. Yeah, it's not available on the open web tiles right now. The reason is, as I said, um, we are trying, or we will try to make it as simple as possible. And this is exactly the opposite. So right now we are thinking how to make it in a nice way. So it's not that we are hiding it, but uh, if we just put it there, uh, then it will make the whole process more complicated. Okay, okay, thank so, you. Stay tuned. <laughs> More questions? Comments? Okay. Uh, oh. Vladimir. <laughs> Hi. Are you using the geo package for store the map the vector tile in, in uh, information, or you use the for store the the real data? Yes, like the I don't know the shape file or the geojson data in the geo package, or you or you store the vector tile in the geo package. I don't know. Uh, I explain me well or not? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if I got the question correctly. Like, <laughs> if we use the use your package for serve uh, vector tiles. Uh, no, no. Uh, for serving vector tiles, we mostly use MB tiles. Yeah. That's like our that's yeah our format which we use most of the time. Okay. However, the problem with local coordinate system is that, or the problem with uh, MB tiles is that it supports only Mercator. And therefore, for this specific use case, we switch to GeoPackage. Okay. Use GeoPackage directly like normal GeoPackage, yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, hi, thanks hey. for the wonderful talk. Okay, so uh, my question is uh, with the pre rendered. Uh, Tiles, can we use the customized styling what is offered on uh, OpenMap Tile? Uh, yes, yes, it can be used. It can be. Oh. Yeah. You only need to uh, change the uh, wait. Where exactly? On the Meta Cloud or for your own? Oh, yeah, yeah. There is no problem if you want to use it on the Meta Cloud. You need to download it, then change the source, and then upload it again. 
is we will work on it so it will be easier, of course, easier in the future, but uh, right now it's a workaround because we want to make it in a nice way. Uh, and yeah, it takes some time to really like think about it, how to do it properly. <laughs> if I have to make a custom style, then I'll have to use your application then to uh, custom, uh, make a custom style. No, you can, uh, you can create it yourself. It's like, oh, okay. you can write it from the scratch, you can use uh, some edit tools, or you can use one of the one which are prepared. Cool, thanks. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everyone.